Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be traveling with a two month old baby for the very first time. No experience, have no idea what we're doing. I asked you guys on social media some tips and tricks, so hopefully it works. But this is just gonna be a real life example of what it's like to travel and the battery's gonna die. Why didn't I prepare? There you go. Charge your gear before you travel. Maybe that's tip number one. Tip number one. <laughs> Unlike me. Um, so yeah, we drove down to Dublin to stay at the hotel before our flight tomorrow because I didn't want to do a whole bunch of driving, sitting, waiting, and then flying all in one day. Thought we could break it up, so I feel like that's a good tip. If you kind of live far from the airport, we live three and a half hours away from the airport. Um, maybe make it a two-day thing uh, to kind of break it up. Uh, but yeah, so we are just gonna chill, have some dinner, some takeout, and then see you guys in the morning. Hey. Are you so excited for your first flight? Is this your first trip to Dublin? And to Canada tomorrow. Oh my, yeah, you're you excited? so excited. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Good morning, everyone. It is the day of our travels. We are all packed up in our hotel. Um, Patty's just putting some stuff in the car and then we're getting the shuttle to the airport. All have slept well last night. I was so hot and like dehydrated. So she actually woke up one other time. Like she went down at seven, woke up at one and then five, but she only feeds for like five, 10 minutes. So easy, slept well. And uh, we're gonna get breakfast at the airport because we just haven't had time to have it here. So we are off to the airport and then I'll update you once we get there. Three, check-in. Check-in completed. Check-in completed. Baby's now still here. On to security, which I don't know if we're allowed to vlog in here, but... We'll see. Security. I have no idea what we're supposed to do. Right on. Smile. Smile. Is that what your suitor says? Smile. Upside down, baby. You're so good at seeing the camera. Had something to eat. Better. Security is actually super easy, super fast. There's like a, a baby line, so you just join the baby line and skip the queue. Every single time we fly, because it's a lot faster, isn't it? Get through security faster. At the moment. At the moment. To be slower in moments than other times. Yeah. So far, so good. So we're just waiting to board the flight, but I thought I would just show you some things that I think are essential so far. So if you have a sleepy head pillow, uh, that's what she sleeps in at home. I was recommended to buy this. It's like the sleepy head travel case and we can use it as a carry-on. So we've obviously put our sleepy head in it, but then also like blankets and like some other bits. So that's really, really handy. I'm really glad we bought that. Um, and then also this cover, it's from eBay. It was like five pounds. It keeps it dark and she loves it sleeping so so far so good she's been amazing but definitely these two things I would recommend obviously they have to go under the plane once we board but for in the airport crucial um. Ready for <laughs> so we're not allowed to put her in a bassinet just yet. We have to wait for takeoff and then she can go to sleep. Bye. Bye. Bye, Ireland. <laughs> Hello, Canada. So it's so great to have the sleepy head on board. Like she's sleeping like a dream. Taxi was not so great because I thought she was hungry and she kind of started freaking out and she was just tired. But she was great during the takeoff. She didn't cry at all. She was just really tired. She fell asleep and I think the soother helps for creating salva, salva, saliva for her to swallow. But um, apparently there's two hours of turbulence coming up and you have to hold your baby. So please Jesus, stay, stay sleeping. So we're flying with Air Transat and they just gave us little baby's essentials. Do you want to open it? <laughs> Highly recommend booking the bassinet seat so you have extra room. It's worth it. Aww. Teething. Well, that's not for a couple of months, but that's cool. Disposable. What paper, is that? Paper towel. Paper towel. Nappy bag. Oh! A little big, but that's okay. That's and really nice of them. And it changed you. Thank 
thank you so much. What's this? Shepherd's pie? Yeah, we paid extra money to get the chef's food. It looks good though. I can't reach our markers to the car. <gasps> Hey, hey, are you not sleeping yet? Bet you the turbulence is going to turn on right now and you have to pick up the new <laughs> Bon appetit. So we have um, five hours left. The screen in front of me keeps reminding me how long I've left with this flight. To have our bougie meal choice, you have bougie. pork, pork and mash with some veggie. Your bread is nicer than the bread I had. Some balsamic on olive oil vinaigrette. Some, you should keep it for Olive's first flight. A little. And we got one sleeping baby, dream child. Getting fed for the second time. Probably one more feed before we land. One more feed while we land would be good. It's three hours. Three more hours. It's one thing, as long as like, they're sucking something, they're fine. Because she wasn't feeding on the way up, but she was fine. She had her dummy in. I said it. Yeah. Alright. Are you a happy girl? Are you a happy girl? You're trying to push something out. No poo explosions yet. I love you, Olive. I love you. It's half an hour to landing. This is the situation because she hasn't fed for three hours almost. Will she sleep the rest of the trip? Not long to go, Olive. Keep it up. Doing good. Still sleeping. Yay! All right, so we made it. We're waiting for baggage. To be honest, the most stressful part is us trying to get sorted for baggage. Like. She's still sleeping. She's been a dream. Oh my goodness. Baggage is the worst part of traveling, always. <laughs> we made it! It's close on. It's so hot in here. Literally everyone decided to fly in at this time. This is the busiest I've ever seen. Thankfully Pearson's. she fed because the luggage took so long, so I just fed her. And now you'll be super happy for Grandma and Grandpa! Who forgot what time to pick us up at? <laughs> but thankfully our luggage took so long that they'll probably be here on time. And thankfully they live fairly close to the airport. Well, hopefully there's no traffic because it could be 45 minutes. And look, we traveled light. There's only one, two, three, four, five, and I've got a backpack on. And it's all Olive's clothes, isn't it Olive? All your outfit changes. So we forgot to finish off the vlog. Oh, look who it is. Hey. Oh my gosh. Is that <gasps> Uncle Miles? So McGowan Brown. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who's hey. that? You're wide awake. <gasps> Hi. Are you gonna smile? Hey. Are you hey, gonna hey. smile for Uncle Nine Nine? Yeah. <laughs> Showing off your big stretches. Mm. Do you think she looks like anyone now? Do I think she looks like who? Anyone? Patty. Uh, <laughs> Doesn't she? I see a lot of two though. Wait a second. Oh, definitely Patty. <laughs> uh, but more Patrick. Yes. Like, I have to say that one, so. Oh, do you have the McGowan brow? 
Yes, oh. you're chatting. Mm -hmm. Are you What's saying, I had a big poo explosion that went all over my outfit today? All over the front of it? All over the back. Oh. Hey guys, um, I have no idea why it looks so red in the viewfinder. Hopefully that's not like that on the screen. But um, didn't finish off the vlog. We got in, I fed Olive at the airport because baggage took forever and she was starting to get hungry. So I fed her at the airport and then my dad picked us up and we came home. Olive went down at 6 and then Patty and I fell asleep at 7.30. She slept really well considering I was a little bit worried about jet lag because it's a 5 hour time difference and a 7 hour flight. But she slept actually really well, only woke up once for a feed. Um, so we're going to try and push back the time she goes to bed um, by like half an hour every night. So we'll try and put her down around 6.30 if she can make it. She is looking a little tired. Um, but yeah, all in all, traveling with the baby is not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, I think what I can give for advice is not don't take advice, but I think I was like so worried about um, trying to feed her on takeoff and land landing that that stressed me out because Olive isn't a comfort feeder and she doesn't feed on demand. Like she has to be hungry. So timing that is like impossible to the time the plane goes up and lands. Um, she had a soother in and she just slept on the way up and slept on the way down and she was totally fine. So she didn't need to feed and she didn't cry at all. She actually cried when I tried to feed her to like, you know, try and avoid crying and <laughs> it was opposite and um, so yeah it was actually a lot easier than I thought I think Patty and I were more stressed than we needed to be so now we feel less stressed she was happy she was great um you actually skip a lot of lines when you're a family which is a bonus because you didn't have there were so many people flying on Saturday don't fly on a Saturday with a baby maybe that's <laughs> a great way to avoid a lot of lines but um yeah it was great it was as easier than I thought it would be so that was a nice um, what's my word? I'm so tired. <laughs> uh, surprise, that's my word. Uh, so yeah, we are here in Canada for 16 days. We're gonna vlog the trip, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of this first time flying experience with a baby. Uh, let me know if there's any other videos you want me to film specifically here in Canada other than a whole vlog of the two-week trip. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your day, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!